can't see him fighting in my battle. I can't see him walking in my favor. I can see him bringing in my miracle. He will do what he said. He will do. You know, at times, there are houses you live, you don't succeed. Even when you enter tenant, there are houses you enter. If you are progressing, you start running backward. Because the environment forbids testimony. I want to show you Matthew chapter 11, verse 21. In the beginning, say, Woe to where? The two city. Jerusalem. Woe unto the what? Beside. So you see, they, he came from a land where there was cause. And what attracted the cause was unbelief. Because there are some causes that entered your family as a result of I do worship. But this one is as a result of what? Unbelief. They didn't believe the gospel and they were cursed. The land can no longer give result. And this is where they came from. And Peter happened to be a future general overseer, a minister of the gospel, but he came from a wrong direction. Many of us were packed to be great, but we landed in the land of sorrow. And the thing keeps struggling with us. Our dreams are correct. Our efforts are heavy. But our result is zero. Peter came from a land that was caused. So my boss, our own is not unbelief. I do worship what the forefathers did. The kind of generational iniquity has held the family. Even while we are serving God, even while we call God, it's like God is far. But Christ found him. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of the Lord, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out. And we are washing their nets. And Peter happened to be one of them. What happened? They toiled the whole night. They caught nothing. In the morning they were washing their nets. Why? No hope. Many of us, that is the point of our life. We are washing our nets. What do I have? What kind of goods have you not sold? What kind of work have I not done? Let me go home. This is what even many people are done. Pack go village. Because they have washed, they have. When you wash your net, you are done for the business. But do you know when they were about to go was when the master showed up. Hear me? There is someone here. God sent me to you. He said, I should tell you, stop washing your net. Get set, you are about to launch out. What you are going through was a result of pronouncement. Was a result of mistake. And what you need is a product of grace and divine manifestation. I feel something. That project will be completed. People don't men have said something. You are not yet a failure. He's a God of time and season. He made them wash in their net. Made them about to go for sweet head. No. And when he entered one of the sheep, which was Simon's, why did he borrow Simon? Simon was a man anointed from the womb. He was packing for the gospel, but problem diverted him. Problem tried to kill him on time. Jesus said, no. I need a sheep, but I will take your own. And this sheep has been under a curse. He need a, it's a touch of the master, a touch of grace to expire this grace. So he didn't ask Peter a question. He sat on the boat and released the word. Hear me? Your problem is problem and remain permanent because the word have not gone forth. He sent his word. His word healed them and delivered them. So he sat down. He knew. Peter, you say you need business. No, you need the word. Some of you say, Pastor, I wish I had money. I would have done well. No, you don't need money. You need a touch of grace. When grace is available, one couple will turn to one million. You apostle, I need a job. No, you need a word of deliverance that will turn things around. If the man say, I have no man, if I'm coming out, you say, No, you don't need a man, you need the Messiah. 
He borrowed. If you watch, he didn't ask him question. God will serve. He's not a God of story. He's not emotional God. No. He's a God of action. Your problem, don't limit him. What you say, don't challenge him. Even when you are crying, he doesn't cry. Even when you shout, everything is in his hand. Now, when you have less speaking, hear me. The secret of what you are looking for, don't look for anywhere. The world. And Peter was special. If you were Peter, that day, will you listen? When you have washed your net, maybe there's no food in the house. Maybe I won't rent. People, you promise you are bringing money, thinking the market to work and yet to come out empty. Peter was patient. He listened. He followed. When he had less speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out. I know what you are good. Into the deep. The miracle is in the deep. Seek God deeper. Not in the shallow way. Look for the deeper revelation. Because that's where what you are looking for is. He said, Simon, thrust out. He said, Launch out. It doesn't matter the hour. What matters is the presence of God. In your presence, there is anointing. And the spirit moves around me. In your presence, anointing. Praise the Lord. When he said to Peter, launch out. Peter, look, master. I've been in this business for years. Naturally, according to what I was taught when I learned this business from my father, you cut fishes in the night, not in the day. And even while you are talking, I did not see any sign. Christ said, you don't need to see a sign. All you need is the word. Added with action. Miracle will come. Peter said, I have talked. Hear me. What is the story of your family? Morning by morning, your mercies are seen. All that I needed, your hands has provided. Great is the faithfulness, O oh Lord, unto me. He said to Peter, Watch out. Forget what you saw. Everything on earth, he hears my voice. I speak to you as a prophet of God. Market to respond. Who am I talking to? That same shop where you are finished and run into debt. This place you will gather it back. You will gather it back. I remember what happened in the book of King when the sons of the prophet went to cut a beam and the Bible said, Why they were cutting one of the beams? They asked her, drown inside the water. And naturally, when an iron has fell down, can never come up. But when grace is available, everything is possible. They said, let us master. It was Paulo. They cried out. Their prophet, what did he do? He caught a stick. Naturally, if you use a stick to push the iron, you are worsening the issue. But spiritually, if you use that method, contrary to human natural sense, it will make sense. Ah, I don't know who I'm talking to. Those things that have delayed, the man says it's not possible. Though with men, not possible, not with God. For with God, all things are possible. As you see my face, you are the one I'm talking to. Wherever you are watching this live broker, I speak in the volume of power which I am called. I'm not taking a day. I enter the root of your problem. Whether in your father's house, outside your father's house, I command the root to wither. In the name of Jesus, wither. In the name of Jesus, wither. You say you will carry my Lord. You say you will be my God. Oh Lord, I am in your presence. To have my own worship. Ah, I'm talking to somebody here. There's a young boy here. You don't serve God today saying you are getting discouraged. No, you are the one I'm talking to. Mama, people are mocking since where they go to church. Relax, you are the one I'm talking to. Go send me this money. Who we'll never here go soon here? Your miracle will shock your enemy. 
I wish you can join me out there. My viewers all over the world are wanting to join me. If you cannot come, you can join me on live broadcast. And I believe the Lord will bless you. 6 o'clock in the morning, 7.30 in the morning, and 8.30. The venue is Wisdom Cathedral 21 Band Relay by Right Hand Hotel, Back of Global Hotel, up by Mission Road, Benin City, Ajo State, Nigeria. Then 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, and then 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, which I am going to worship God specially. So join me at the fifth service. 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock in the afternoon at International Worship Center, Wonderland Prayer City, kilometer 12 o'clock within the morning. But I will see junction before bypass the Benin quarters, it will buy you, Benin City, a state Nigeria. Maybe you want to still come here a little bit closer to a state. You can join, we have accommodation within the International Worship Center. Inside the compound, we have revival camp. We have a very good accommodation where you can stay and stay as long as you want to stay. We have 24 hours security and there is light. You can join me online. Distance is not a barrier. I see grace extended where you are. And I see the Lord turning your story into glory. God bless you.